Yeah, here we go again. Good morning to you, Shali. Good morning to our 8 o'clock viewers. I mean, essentially moving forward, what we will have to see is we'll have to be in this purple tier for at least three weeks in a row and have our case numbers trending in the right direction before we drop down to a less restrictive tier. Let's break it down for you and pull up this graphic because I can tell you too, county officials say starting this Saturday at 12.01 a.m., places of worship, restaurants, and gyms will have to make some major changes, and they're not the only ones, but those three will be forced to do outdoor operations only. Hair salons, nail salons, and barber shops can be indoors with modifications, and schools that are already open for in-person classes can stay open. All others will remain virtual. This, of course, all one big effort to get the virus numbers down. Here's Supervisor Nathan Fletcher. We went through the evolution of living on the precipice of red to purple, uh, but ultimately the increasing cases over the preceding month have finally caught up to, up to us. Uh, our unadjusted case rate jumping from 7 to 10, uh, even with the incredible effort we've done around testing, the adjustment factor only bringing us down to 8.9, uh, which is far in excess of where we need to be. Yeah, so since we're now in the purple tier, and again, we'll have to stay here for three weeks, the county will need a case rate of seven or below, meaning on a daily average, fewer than seven people out of 100,000 in the county test positive. Yesterday's numbers, though, don't even include people who may have gotten sick on Halloween night. That information, we're told, will come out in the next few days. And with Thanksgiving on the horizon, the state's lead health expert is concerned will continue to trend in the wrong direction. All right, let's take a look at the recent numbers released yesterday. These are our local numbers. 483 new cases were reported, bringing the total now to more than 61,000. There were seven new deaths and five community outbreaks. We're told these happening in a school and restaurant setting, as well as a retailer, grocery store, and a business. Back out live this morning here in the South Bay in National City. So with today being Veterans Day, as we know, a federal holiday, uh, only 18 testing sites. These are free walk in COVID testing sites will be open around the county today, including the one we're at right now, the Kimball Senior Center. Live in the South Bay, we'll get it back to you.